Good morning, you beautiful people. It's Sherry Moulton back with another video. I am down here trying to figure out what I'm doing. Tomorrow is my appointment for my hand. So I've opted to come down and in the next probably couple weeks, because I'm 100% sure I'm going to have to have surgery, but in the next couple weeks, I'm trying to back do some videos so that if I'm not able to do anything after, I have some things stashed. So with that being said, today I am playing around with some resin again. I am going to do a beach pour, but I want to do it in like sunset. Instead of the, the three different hues of the blue, I'm going to do the yellow, the orange and the red with the beach on the side. So I'm excited. And I'm going to use my crystal resin pigments, yellow, um, orange, and I don't know which one is going to be red because this really looks pink to me and this one looks red. So I'm going to look at it and I'm going to mix it up and see. And then if I'm finding it's not quite the color I want, I'm going to use my um, Dr. Martin's um, Indian inks because the red I used in my poppies for my husband video it's a beautiful one so I'll add that in to the pigment if it's not quite the color and I also have yellow and I also have orange so and I'm going to use the pearl gold as this the sand and I'm going to try the pigment white pigment paste to see if I can get the ocean waves like I do with the Lares pigment paste. So with that being said, my sweet people, I am going to use a dollar store. I'm going to try these because I've bought them because I'm just playing around right now. It's a dollar store cradle board. It might not work, but you know what? You don't know if you don't try, right? So for $2.50, I'm going to do this it is a 8x10 and because like I said I, I just want to play so I don't want to go over crazy with the resin and waste it if I'm not do not like it so this is a way to do it but also I wanted to show you we're in a major I'm like I said I don't know when this video is going up so I'm just gonna tell you my story we're in a major lockdown here in Ontario and I kind of went into that liquidation store that I go to here in town and I found this. It is a rustic torched wooden nesting breakfast serving trays. I got it for $20. And, but look what it is. So I thought I would love to do the beach themes on these. Um, there were 20 bucks. I googled it because it's a lot of the Amazon returns. It's $40. So I got it for half price. So that's kind of cool. So I thought I would play with this and I figured I would do a, a um, sunset one and then I would do a, a regular one and then I would do another one. So I'm going to play around. So that's what my thoughts were. That's why I wanted to try the sunset one on this one. So I'm going to get my cradle board all prepped and ready to go. And we're going to do a base coat of the paint because working with the wood, you always want to cover it of some form. And that way your resin doesn't get air bubbles or it adheres a little bit better. So with that being said, my sweet people, I will put you on hold and I'm going to get everything ready. I'll see you in a minute. Hello, we're back. I had to show you. I popped out my little uh, unicorn. It's got Laura's glitter. It's got the pigment paste. That one turned out pretty cute. I'm getting quite the little collection over there. So with that being said, I am going to base coat this. Um, like I said, it's a dollar store. I'm going to attempt to do it. We will see if it works. I'm not sure about putting the resin on it, but we'll see. It is a eight by 10. And again, like I said, it was $2.50. I have a bunch of them. And there we go. So I have 
Liquid X Basics. This one is Cadmium Red Deep Hue. That will be my red. I have Cadmium, oh, sorry, Liquid X Basics Cadmium Red Light Hue, which is more like an orange. And then I have Cadmium Liquid X Basics again, Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue. And for the brown, I don't have a lot of brown paints, which is kind of hilarious. So I have this one. I bought it from the Dollar Tree. So it is Cashmere Tan. It is the acrylics paint. It doesn't have a... It is by Color Factory. Eh, there we go. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it not straight across. I'm going to try and do it on an angle. So I'm going to start, we're going to go um, brown, yellow, orange, red. I'm going to, let me Google that, which way it goes, because if I do it wrong, I'll be told, um, And we'll see in order. Yellow, orange, red, purple. Okay, there we go. I thought it was the way I was going to do it. All right, so we are going to take this and we're going to start. I'm just going to put it right on the canvas. I'm just using this brush. I bought these in a set from... Oh, these ones are different. I thought it was from Michael's, but or uh, Walmart, but it might not be. It is just a normal brush. My other ones are upstairs. I forgot to bring them down. All right. And you know what? If there's lines in it, it don't much matter because with the resin, it tends to, it covers up a lot of mistakes, which is good. Because, you know, we have a lot of mistakes sometimes. Oh, I'm, I am so sorry, guys. I, my camera is so, I'm going to fix my camera. I'm going to do this one coat and I'm going to adjust you guys so I can get the sides as well because you want it all covered. Perfect. And I want enough of the sand because we're going to come back over it, right? So I want enough of the sand that it's going to, I can do like a, a little bit of a, a wave over it, right? And there we go. Let me just, I'm going to fix you. Because I think you need to be up a little so that when I'm doing it and I'm holding it, you can see a little better. Yeah, there we go. Now we're in business. I'm going to put my yellow. Hopefully I can get some out of here. It's almost empty. And this freaking hand. All right, let's get this. Get it. I'm going to Oh, this one does come off. Some of them do, some of them don't, which I don't understand. I'm gonna try a little bit more here. There we go. And I'm just gonna not, ugh, you don't put your hand in it. I'm not gonna wash my brush. I'm just gonna proceed and then give it a blend in the end. Sorry guys. And then do the edge. And then. Oh my goodness, Sherry. Uh, all right. Perfect. 
perfect. I'm excited to try this. I really want to do one of them on that uh, little set that I showed you. Now we will do the orange, which is the cadmium light, cadmium red light hue. He looks like orange. Nothing has to be perfect because this is just a base coat. We're putting resin on top of it. And awesome. get more yellow up here because I want to bring that yellow back up if I can oh there we go perfect let me just I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit so I don't want to I don't want to lose that yellow because I think the yellow will be pretty in there there let's just do this I'm leaving it because I don't want to. <laughs> I tried to bring more yellow in, but it was dragged the orange as well, which is fine. And then we're going to do the red, and then we're going to let this sit and dry. And come back with our resin. It's, it went splashed. All right, I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to get my edging. You don't want to forget your edges because they're just as important as the top when it comes to some things, right? Especially if they're a little bit of a gallery wrapped where there's... Perfect. craziness I actually my bling bling that I did this su Sunday that just passed which like again I don't know which day I'm putting this video up but it is the um, top tomato golden top tomato one I had someone a friend of the family who I have not talked to in a few years probably just out of the blue phone me I heard, she, she says, I heard you're doing some, she's a, a, a bling bling queen like me, and she, I heard you're doing some bling videos. <laughs> so, too funny, sold my painting. Out and delivered it yesterday, so that was kind of cool. So with that, I'm gonna leave it dry. And like I said, it might look not the best at the moment, but this, again, is just the background. So with that being said, my beautiful people, I'm going to put you on pause. We're going to let it dry. I'm going to take my resin up to its beautiful warm bath upstairs. And hopefully we'll be ready to play in a couple minutes. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hello, we are back. Everything is dry. I have mixed up five ounces of resin. And while I'm mixing up, I do wear a respirator. I have my Dyson air purifier on. I personally am choosing not to wear it when I speak with you and that is my choice but you please please follow the directions 100% you do need to wear a respirator with that all the stuff out of the way I am going to I need four cups because we're gonna do red orange yellow and brown and a little bit for the white so with that Let's get her done. It's going to divide it up. I don't need to go crazy because this is not a very big canvas. It's only an 8 by 10. Let me 
just a little fur ball in there. And let me just put, oh, I just cleaned all these. There's always something. And I'm having such a hard time with my hand. All right, here we go. Tomorrow's the day, my friends. Like I said, I don't know what day this is going out, but tomorrow is the magical, wonderful day. So, there we go. And with that, I'm using my spatula. I am using, actually, um, crystal resin. I will, it is a two-part epoxy. I will link it in the description box. And we are using some of the pigments that I got today. Actually, I'm going to take my sweater off and I'm going to turn my heater off before I put my um, when I turn my heat gun on, I blow the fuses, the whole, all of the fuses in my basement. <laughs> so I'm going to use a little bit of my that is cool that it landed that way using my amazing, nice new stir sticks. I'm gonna switch this one over to here. And I'm just gonna stir in, this is just the white to make my waves. You do not need a lot, so I'm hoping this will work. I've not tried them in this um, application yet, so I'm excited to try. So that is the Lorez, Lorez, I'm so sorry. That is crystal resin. And this is the white epoxy paste. And we'll give that one a stir. Like I said, I don't need a whole lot because it's such a small little one. I might take some more here to put a little bit in there. Because I'm doing a little bit of brown. There we go. That should work. Too funny. It sounds like there's a bomb going to go off. I've got my uh, my carbonated water there. The lid isn't closed. All right. So we are going to do, I'll we'll start with the gold. This is pearl gold, and these are all new to me, so I'm excited to try them. Oh, fingers work. Come on. There we go. So uh, I'm using the cute little spoon that came with. And this is gonna be for the sand. I'm gonna use that much for right now. We'll see how it goes. Give it a stir. Whoops. That's pretty, eh? Nice gold. Now, I'm gonna take this out and close that one up. Put that over there so we know what we used. I'm going to take and wipe off my little spoon. We will do the orange, and I'm hoping it's not copper, but because there's a different coppers in there, so. So the brown is for the the sand. I'm using that much of the orange. Put that there so I can. There we go. We'll use this stir stick. I'm going to run out of them. I've only got four. Oh my goodness, and that is orange. Oh my guys, amazing. That is orange, look at that. Oh. Now with these, I'm probably gonna add, because I don't really want it transparent, I may add a dot or two of my alcohol inks, even though they're Indian inks that I pulled out. Oh, I'm sorry, this one is called just orange. <laughs> this one is called lemon yellow. All right. 
Now we're gonna wipe this one off because you don't wanna put one in the other. Cross contaminate is not good. So here we go. And I'm gonna use that much and we're gonna put it in that one. There, so I all right. It is pouring like a oh out today. Crazy. Oh, that is gorgeous. See now out of all of those packages that I bought from Black Diamond. I, there's not one yellow, I'm gonna look, but I shouldn't speak before I look. Pretty sure there's not one color that is, oh, now which one do I do? I don't want pink. Well, it says red, so we're gonna do this one. It is rich red. Yeah, I don't think I have an orange or a yellow. So I was excited about the orange and the yellow um, pigment. Oh, come on. It's hard to see. <laughs> I'm gonna use that much. And in we go. Please be really red. Because it's kind of deceiving. It looks pink, right, in the packaging, so. Now, let me see, where did it go? They also gave me, but I have these, so I'm gonna use this one. They gave me one, but I can't find where I sat it down. It's definitely pink, my friends. It looks like it is. It is pink, it's really not quite that red so we're gonna put some red alcohol ink in there oh no man one whole dropper and actually that is actually really pretty look at whoops it's more magenta but you know what let me do one more Squirt. Okay, and that is the um, Dr. Martin's Bombay inks, Indian inks, and that one's crimson. So I put a squirt and a half in there. It's very pink, so hopefully it'll work. That, that's good. It's not transparent, so that's good. And this one is pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna move these guys because we didn't use that. I'm gonna put the cherry back in there. So this is again, I eight by 10. So we're gonna start off with the gold to do the sand. gonna spread it out pick up what's down here and try and get it on that edge as opposed to it I'm gonna work with my left hand because I can't take my right glove off because I have a hard time I got a different size of glove I'm just gonna use what's in here a different size of glove and I can't get it on my bad hand once I've taken it off, it's going to hurt. There we go. And I'm going to get this side. And again, I'm probably going to come back with a second coat. And like I said, this is just... This first layer is just getting some resin on there with some color. And I'm going to do a couple of 
of waves. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to move... Oh, where did I put it? Oh, right in front of me. I'm just going to take this off here because I don't want that yellow up there. I guess it could be the sun, but the sun's supposed to be down here. All right, enough chit-chat. Let's get her at her. Okay, we're going to put my yellow. Oh, and that is yellow. Oh, my goodness, guys. That is beautiful. That is yellow. Awesome. We're going to do orange. And we're going to do the red. It looks so pink, though. It is pink, but that'll be fine. All right. So I'm going to move these all over here because I don't want to keep them on my tray that's not covered. All right. And I'm going to grab that white one and wipe off my hand. And I'm going to get my heat gun out. Colors are pretty. That could have been a little bit more brown, but that's all right. All right, here we go, my friends. We're going to heat it up. Sure, it's going to go over the edge. Sorry, I turned that off. My um, I like those triangles, but they're a pain. All right, I just want to get the edging done here. Before we start going too far. Woo! Too far into that. That is so funny. My husband just woke up and I'm I'm hearing myself upstairs. He's watching my video. <laughs> that is too cute. Oh my god. Okay. I know you probably don't want to hear this, but with my weight loss, I still have my wedding dress after 30, <laughs> it'll be 35 years this year. It fit. I actually put it on this morning. I'm like, oh my goodness, that's hilarious. My wedding dress fits. All right, here we go. We're gonna warm it up again. There's enough. I didn't even think to, I don't have any, well, there might be a little bit clear left in there. So we're going to go. On the beach. We'll just do a wave over each and then we'll come back with a second wave, possibly. A second layer. Let's see what we got going on here, guys. Here we go.
I'm going to come back here with another line of the white. This is actually looking really pretty. And then I'll come back with a clear um, and do another couple of waves. go my friends we are gonna leave that at that I think it looks actually quite pretty and um, I'm gonna go take all of this stuff upstairs um, yes we will leave it at that and I will come back and we will do a second layer in a few hours hopefully it won't take too long to set up and oh, I always put my heater on the ground because I don't really have a stand for it. I hit my foot on it periodically and burn my toes. So anyways, that is beautiful up there. I don't know if you can see it all, but um, with that being said, I'll leave it sit for a bit and I will be right back once it's done. I'll be back in a bit, guys. I thought I'd give you a quick close up on the first level, the first layer. Very beautiful. I love how this kind of mixed up here. That's kind of nice. And it is definitely pink. Even when I added that red to it. So anyways, so that's that. I'm going to let that cure. And then we will do a second layer of clear and I'll come back in with a few more waves. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we are back. I'm going to bring you in. I've figured out that I can bring you in a little bit maybe there you go without having to move my camera around technology is amazing when you know how to use it <laughs> so anyways we are back I love how this turned out now the only thing that I would probably do different is choose a different um color for the back, the, gra the, the grass, oh my goodness, the sand. That would be the only thing I would do differently. Now this color, it says red, but it's not red, it's pink. But when I put the, um, the Bombay ink in it, turned out flipping amazing. So this here is more kind of pink. So what you see is what you're gonna get, not as bright though, as in the um, thing so but I still love it not complaining I am in love in love 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 with that nope with this yellow I have um, all of these pigments all of them I have spent a lot of money on <laughs> black diamond pigments and I'm telling you right now there's not a yellow in there so I'm gonna put this out there I'm going to do my poppies for my husband check out that video I'll link it in the description box because I think it turned out amazing um, I'm going to um, do another one of those but we're gonna do because I have yellow sunflowers I'm excited so with that we are getting into today's project I have mixed up five ounces of my crystal resin of choice, which is what I'm trying to use of all the products that I got. So I'm trying to do a Dutch, uh, um, a beach thing. So I'm going to pour, we're going to do an ounce, not even an ounce. Yeah, that's an ounce. So we're going to do an ounce. And because I don't want to go too crazy with the um, the other waves because 
I think it's nice the way it is actually because I'm going to I'm no I don't have to have a clean stick these are amazing I'm checking out to see if you can purchase them because I would love another set of them when you're mixing up colors there's three different colors when you want to mix this you shouldn't be contaminating your container so give it a mix and scrape and that little bit should be good uh, I love this little um, plastic lip that goes on almost like when you get your makeup things there's a plastic thing on top of your so anyways we're gonna mix this up again I'm pre doing a bunch of videos in anticipation for my hand so I'm, I'm not sure when this one's going up but hoping you're having a wonderful day so here we go we're just gonna do a flood of clear which there's something in my cup oh my goodness there we go and I want you to leave a little bit in here and this is a dollar store cradle board guys um, I'm hoping it's been sit for I'm gonna say three days maybe four days because like I said, I'm trying to do a bunch of videos to, um, in anticipation of my hand being, having surgery on my hand, but it has not warped. It's nothing. So I don't know. You get people saying that you shouldn't use them, but I, I, to me, yes, it's not as thick and as nice as the other one, but to me, there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to heat this up. I'm going to keep my mouth shut and heat this up. trying to push it over the edge so I can get a nice edge and then I'm going to come back in and do my wave. I was wanting it to have a natural drip off, if that makes any sense, without all of the lines. So that's what my mission was trying to do that, trying to fix up, because um, I was noticing on the edging of this lip, because I probably, that would be the only thing I would have done differently, is I would have sanded the edging, which now hindsight is a little rough which is fine because we're experimenting all right i have a lot down there so i'm gonna hear it i wasted but that's the life that i lead <laughs> all right so i'm going to do another wave on the beach line oops and i'm gonna back 
heavy. This is on high, <clears throat> so I don't know, maybe I should do it on low, but we're going to start off on low. It needs to go on high. I need to have it move around a bit. Oops, sorry. Fingers don't want to work today. There we go. I think that's good. I'm going to come in and do another one here. And another one here. And see what happens. I might blow some of that off because it's a lot. There, I like that. Now I'm just trying to do something here. Let's see if I can get that in here. just I don't know bring this back up a little bit we'll see here there you go I think we're done I'm gonna hit it with the torch to see if some cells come up here whoops maybe I'll turn it down a little bit up a little bit. There we go. There. Well, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Actually, I quite enjoy that. So now it does react. I'm not putting it down and I'm not saying anything bad, but it does react a little different than the La Perez pigment paste. And, but I still love it. Like if you get all the cells. So like I said, I'm kind of new to this. So doing this beach pour. So um, my review might not be what it's worth, but I love it. It's actually really, really good. I'm just going to take, some of the drips off maybe there you go my friend so with that being said I'm going to put my unicorn back to work we're gonna put the white in there 
and I'm going to mix up something to put in the rest of the resin that I have there. And it don't take much. I mixed up five ounces and I have two almost ounces here. With that, it's probably three ounces that I did not use. So you could probably get away with less. And with me, I was just wanting to make, make sure that I had enough. So with that being said, my beautiful people, I'm going to mix something up into this, put it into that. Oh, I got you out of the screen with that. I am filling up my little unicorn. And I will see you guys tomorrow for to see what it looks like cured. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Hello, we are back. We are on our second day of drying. I'm impressed. The only thing is, of course, there is something in my resin. I think it turned out pretty awesome. I quite, um, I love the idea of it being a sunset. The only thing I would change, I'm going to bring you down because look at this. If anyone knows what to do with these, I've been keeping all of my little bits here like this. I'm going to pull it off and show you. Like that looks like clouds. I've been keeping these. So let me know if anyone has any ideas. I've got all my beach ones. I've got a couple of other ones. So I've got a stack of them that I've been keeping. So if you have any idea what to do with these, like that looks pretty sweet. Anyways, back to the project at hand. The only thing I personally, I'm gonna find you. I got you in here really tight. Just a minute, guys. I'm gonna bring you out a bit. Oh, 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 there you go. <laughs> I would do a different color down here. I was trying to use all of um, the new pigments I got from Crystal Resin. So that's why I did that. But I personally would do like a nice dark, dark, darker brown just to give that definition. But I'm infatuated with that lemon. Oh my goodness, this lemon. Cause I've never had a yellow pigment. I've had gold. Everything comes gold, nothing is yellow. And orange, everything's copper. So I'm impressed with these two colors. <laughs> So I'm going to try and do, like I said, my poppies for my husband. I do want to make one that is going to be um, yellow flower, sunflowers. And I think that would be freaking amazing. I'm going to do it on the board again. So if you want that video, let me know in the description box and I'll have that in the plans. But yeah, so I'm just impressed. It looks so three-dimensional and it's just saddening because I have one little dust thingy thing here. But I'll bring you up like just, you got the cells with the pigment as well. So that was another thing I wanted to try. So yeah, very impressed. So yeah, so if you go on, they have the pigments is the actual, it's, they call it beach. And they're actually on sale right now. So if you go in there, there's that. And the pigments are also on sale as well. So go check them out. And again, the resin is amazing. Love the resin. So so with that being said, my beautiful people, I'm going to keep picking at this stuff that's on my tray. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you um, have not yet subscribed, please do. It helps out my channel and it gets the word out there and we all love crafting. So share, share, share if you like what you see. And if you hit the bell for notifications for when my next video is up and in my description box, I have the links to my Facebook page. I have the link to my Amazon shops. I have the links to Laura's Art Corner, please use my discount code, all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10%, and you'll get 10% off your whole entire purchase. And I also have the link to um, Crystal Resin, so go check them out. The stuff is on sale. It is really nice. I'm quite enjoyed that. So with that being said, and there's also my PayPal link in there. So that being said, my beautiful people, I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.